And today I will be talking about how zero can become a study. And just what you need or not need and just stuff like that. Okay, um well um um so now before I start talking about how um uh, so now I know that this topic is very popular and so I was like hmm, you know what? I'll try this. So I'll make a video on it and we're watching it right now. Um so this this is a very popular question within the public fandom and basically it's really easy. Um okay, so now let's get started. Um well um uh it's so now first of uh, so you might be wondering well fabrics have first you. So, um, where can I get a fursuit? And guess what? You don't need a fursuit. You really don't need one. <laughs> okay, um, uh, so now to be honest with you, believe it or not, more fairies who don't have fursuit, so more of the non fursuiters than there are ones that do have fursuit. Which are first readers like me and a lot of other people. So that's to answer that question of do you need a costume? No, no, you do not need a costume to be a fairy because like I just discussed, more people don't have costumes than people who do. Um which is pretty interesting to be honest. Uh yeah. Okay, um, so now next question you might have is that what type of gear do I need? Do I need gear? What, what do I need if I were to actually be one who has a person? Okay, um, well, uh, well, um, so now in my opinion, you don't need any type of gear besides, um, uh, okay, so now the only thing that you will need is a name tag. That way people know who you are and don't, and they're not like, hey, look, it's Rip Off Lacovia over there. And then I will be like, no, um, my name's Sky and I'm not a person now. Um, okay, and um, so now we're on the topic. Let me just take off my pods for a second. I have this box that I keep all so um it's now a lot of my okay. Um and so now the second question we might have. Um uh, sorry um uh dog barking in the background, but hopefully you guys can still hear me. Is that do I need gear if I'm going to be Wearing a fursuit. Um, yes and no. Gear, not as in the puppy play gear, nothing crazy like that. Gear as in maybe um, just your name tag or maybe a color. I have both. I have a name tag that's a work in progress and I will always um, wear a color. No, not for that reason. I'm not a part of the little very tiny percent of fandom. The color is just so that I can have a place to put my badges and tags on. And that's it. I have a box over here, actually, that has the stuff in it. Can I just take off my card? Um, okay, um, so now I have in here is my gay pride pin. It is a gay pride window puffin. I don't know why I'm doing this, my camera's always focused. And then what I wear it on is my collar, and I will wear it on under the name tag. Here is my collar. It's a pink color. Yes, I know, and now sky is bright, but pink color because, oh, I'm not. 
and then on this little thing that document tabs go on, this is where I was hanging my cursor dots from. Uh, uh, on here, I have uh, two pens. I have a red panda and I have a telephone. This is um, just a very simple color. I, I got it from Petsmart. It's very simple. I recommend you get it with this kind of clip and not anything too, too um, hard to take part or put that together. Just in case they don't want to wear the fuzzy hair anymore, you have to take off the color first. Then I don't want you to be struggling. Um, so I guess, um, uh, I forgot to show you guys my fan. Um, I got it from DBC, Dream Vision Creations, uh, also known as Mono Yasha on YouTube. And this is very good to have. You should be having a fan with you, this one that you can put over your first head. I just put on, then put on your first head. She sells these at her booth in Anthrocon and also on her website. With this fan, you can easily access um, the on and off switch while wearing your paws, which is what I like about it. Here, I will show you guys with my right paw. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, okay, uh, so now here we go, the health and pass on, and then, wait, oh my god, uh, uh, okay, okay, so now it's have on your pass. So here, that is the phone, and so what you can do with this is that you can easily fit it inside of your fuzzy mouth, like so, and you can also easily turn it off with the puzzle. on. And, uh, and also, if you don't want to hold it, if there's a around there, or if you're sitting down somewhere, uh, there is a way, uh, there's, there's a way for you to go like this, then you can make it stand up on its own. Let me just move this part to show you. There we go. You see it? This is amazing. It has a little standing back there, right? Uh, guys, I recommend this fan. You can also angle it however you want. It doesn't just stop. It keeps going up to here. So basically if you're away over here or something. Yeah, very good thing. I like it. Um uh okay. So now the next question you might have is that do you need a hand or not? If you're out of soup, or maybe you can't afford a soup, or maybe you just don't want the soup. Um, no, no, they do not need a handle off if you are not suiting. Um, but it is a good idea to have someone at the convention or wherever you are if you just are so that way they're not lonely. And then for those of you who are suiters, I recommend them. Okay. Um and so now it's it has to be someone that you can trust who you know, they know you. I do with my parents because well okay, oh my god, that sounded hard or yeah, well not use my parents, but I'm saying that they're my handlers for when we um go to the answer phone. Oh my god, um, to the info camp. Yeah, when we go um, to the info camp, I will have my parents with me, of course, like always. And then um, what they help me with is that because, okay, so now, um, okay, um, 
uh, it's enough for acceptance. And first thing I'm being like, hey, hey, hey. And so, with pause on and stuff, I want to mute my phone. I will have them help me carry my stuff, my water bottle. Uh, I can make sure that if they're in a foster head and they don't want to take it off from a water bottle, as shown here. And, or as you can bring a blood bottle or something that you can't fit in the faucet mask. And maybe you have a straw with you, as shown here. Yes, I can edit now. Woohoo! Um, good job. Um, good job. On a serious note, that's very important. You can also bring a backpack. I apparently just realizing have a tiny bit of cleptophobia, which is a fear of people stealing from their just taking your stuff. I have it with backpack. I fear that someone's gonna walk up behind me, unzip my backpack, and take stuff out. Not that they won't do that. I think they would rather take whole backpack. It's a pretty dope backpack. I have a pretty cool backpack. The one that I will bring from Africon is a, a red panda one. My dog is the nose off. It's still a red panda dog. And so that means that it's one of those that has the zipper that lays on your back. So I feel safer around that. And then in there is just my phone and my key and the key for my room and stuff like that. And then, okay, um, yeah. Yeah, oh my god. Uh, hopefully we got all of that. Handlers are also very important for if you are um, not at a convention and then there are just people um, taking pictures of you and stuff, basically for just keep you safe. And I recommend them. Uh, uh, for more in depth stuff about handlers, you can go and check out someone else's channel. Um, uh, Stormy does very good stuff about that stuff. I like watching him, and he tells us stuff in detail. Uh, okay, um, so now, um, right, um, so now we've discussed some stuff that do need to have with you, so now we're going to go on to what you guys probably came here for, and that is how to be a furry. Yes, okay, um, so, um, uh, so now we already talked about that. You don't need a fursy to be a furry, so now I would like to talk about, um, well, um, so now what do you have to do to become a furry? And no, we're not talking about that stuff. This is a kid-friendly channel, and you should be proud of that. Oh, God. Um, right, um, uh, so now to become a furry, you just have to make anthropomorphic animals, um, uh, which, if you don't understand that, they are animals that have human-like characteristics. If you still know what that is, if you've ever seen a Disney movie, the animals talk like us, they can walk like us sometimes. Zootopia. If you've seen Zootopia, that's, that's the kind of animal. Oh my god, McWild? Yes. Uh, did you have to have a question on McWild to be a furry? No, 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 you don't. You can like whoever you want. I will not judge you. I will tell you not to like them. Uh, uh, did you have to have a first to be a furry? We said no to you, but, but, I mean, I'm pretending you want. Uh, I mean, uh, I have 
many stars that light up this one. And I had one star made it which I've shown in my uh in my all oh, my first year had to do 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 need to like the draw and do you need art to be a fairy? Mm, well um uh not necessarily um but kind of um um uh so now I like art sometimes I mean uh just looking at the pieces those are pieces of art people will dedicate their time and stuff just like actual artists to make a creation uh did you have to like drawing so uh it's another a lot of drawings and artists and stuff at conventions but no, no, they don't. All you have to do is basically just um, be a fan of your fibromorphic animal. And then you're a fairy. If you like that stuff, if you pay attention to that stuff, is it easy to not be a fairy if you don't want to, if you change your mind? Yes, um, yes, um, but if you already have a fairy, then, well, uh, okay, well, well, maybe not, because, okay, guys, uh, so now please don't hate me for this, but I have forgotten about the fairy fandom years ago, years ago when I was little, because I was still learning, and so then I kind of would say I came out of it, and then what happened was that I rediscovered it, and so that means that I, uh, I just became engaged in it. And now look at me. I'm a mascot. No, no, not actually a mascot. I, I wouldn't want to be a mascot, no thank you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And now you're probably wondering, are mascots and fairies the same? Uh, I don't think so. Um, but could you be a fairy who's also a mascot? Mm hmm Yes, as a kid. Okay, guys. Um, okay. Oh my god. So now, uh, so now they're wondering how to be a fairy. Um, now for me, the, for me and artists of a fairy YouTuber, you are getting all this information, but but they want to know this one thing and that is that thing do you all do you need to like to be a fairy no 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 you do not need to like to be a fairy uh i'm just gonna say the word it's by R F F Zip. Um, no, you don't. Please don't. Uh, you know there's a tiny, very tiny percentage of people in the fandom who are into it. I don't recommend it. Um, uh, it's basically furry, P-O-R-N, and it's disgusting. Yes, I know it's just animals doing it, but it's gross. And so that's why we don't want you to join those people. So no, no, you do not have to like Zip to be a fairy. Just in general, you shouldn't like it. Uh, but if you do, I'm not judging. I just don't like it in general. I find it gross, but you might like that. You might have a thing for it. Does that mean you're a bad person though? No, no it doesn't. All people are good people except for bad people. Um, yeah, yeah. Sky 2021, all people are good people except for bad people. Um, but yeah, yeah. Let's uh, move on 
to a more appropriate. Can you talk while in Buffy? You might be wondering, because if you can't, well, then... Okay, um, uh, so now, unless you are deaf, please don't use the closed captions on this video. Not that it's hear me, because they don't know most of the stuff I'm saying. But, yes, you can talk and do sign language in a Farsi. Sign language might be a bit harder because you have Farsi part. And Kosha was a deaf Farsi, that is pretty cool. And he signed in his Farsi part, which I believe are also Puffy part, but I'm not too sure about that. Uh, <laughs> And thus, if you're a Death Channel Dragon, you can talk, okay? Yeah, don't be like, oh my god, I'm a Death Channel Dragon. Oh my goodness, I have to learn squeaky language or whatever they call it. No, no, you, you can talk as a Death Channel Dragon. Telephone talks in her, um, for a few sometimes. Very rarely, though, she has in her video. And then, oh my god, and then her friends are like, oh my god, she talks. Uh, um, uh, but, uh, but if you want to, um, you can uh, just also squeak, you can make sound. And also, you can just not say anything if that's your character. But if you want to talk, you can talk. Please stop having a crisis about it, okay? You're allowed to talk in the first place. Do I have to have a YouTube channel to be a phone? Ah, uh, mm, and both. Both this and no. It's basically no, um, but um, uh, it's not basically how I started. Is that I was already a YouTuber on my other channel. I can link that in the comments and description below my video. Go check it out if you want. I play Minecraft. Uh, so if you left down the dog is drinking. Why did you have to drink so loudly? Oh my god. Oh my god, my dog. Um, but no, you don't um, have to have one to be a poet. Could you have one there? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, you can. Um, yeah, um, that's not how I said. But like I said, I always had a YouTube channel. Except it wasn't very related. And now I have this YouTube channel, which is very related. Which on both YouTube channels, you can tell that I struggle to keep the schedule. Uh, unless I'm thinking of a live view. That's what I told you guys basically in um, my last video, which, is, which was the live stream. Um, uh, so now you guys know what's going on, it's all good. But, um, best know you don't have to have a channel to be a furry. Trust me, I'm not forcing you to make a channel. You probably already have a channel though without knowing it. If you're locked in to YouTube through the Gmail account, then, well, um, that's a YouTube channel. All you have to do now is upload videos. It's easy. What is a persona and do I need one? A persona is basically um, you as a animal, you as a furry, you as this. But, um, uh, um, but it's your own creation. A lot of you're probably wondering, oh, okay, well, that's interesting. So basically, um, I can just copy someone and then, um, basically, boom, I'm them. 
No, no, they cannot. That is theft of identity theft. Basically, uh, okay, oh my goodness. So now let me explain before they start copying off of me and stuff and being a, a rip off Lucario, that kind of Um, right. Um, so now basically, it has to be your own character. You, you cannot um, copy off of anyone else's character, but what you can do is get inspiration from that character. Like you see on my very first post you had, there was this very YouTuber who had uh, stripes going across the ears like this, and so I like that, so I took inspiration from that. And I made my character have stripes. Um, a certain thing that's just an example. You can um, take inspiration if a fursuit had 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 a cornea, it's just the two different kind of eyes, then you can do that. But um, but just make sure that you do not completely copy the off of them. Because they will find out one way or another, and then they're going to be like, um, hey, um, what the heck, no, what are you doing? That, that's me. They're wearing my character. And, yeah, yeah, that would not be good. But, also, if you don't want to make a character, you can just buy one. Uh, forming these, these proceeds are expensive. I think they can range up to 1,000 to, I think, almost a million or something like that, I don't know. Uh, hopefully not a million, oh my god, they're expensive. But yes, I'm very expensive. Uh, or if you don't want to do any of those and you just are like, you know what? Um, I'm just going to make my own, then, um, then I do recommend Dream Vision Creation, aka Mona Dasha on YouTube. She sells pressure head pieces. Um, I'm planning on buying another one from her, that's a manager. Because, uh, if you know me, you know I love manager, so it's durable, oh my god. If you're a manicure watching, I like you. If you're anything else watching, I like you too. You all are the best. And I love all of you. And uh, hopefully you enjoy my content. Um, but that's, um, okay, so now you can either buy a fursuit, you can make a fursuit, or guess what, you don't even need a fursuit, like we also discussed. Oh, or if you really want a fursuit but it's too expensive, key group. You can buy a key group, which is kind of um, like free pajamas except of a counter or a bigger counter. Uh, okay, um, uh, so now last uh, question that I will go over. Okay, guys, um, so now last question. What if I wear glasses and I want a foster head, but I'm not sure if it will fit in with my glasses? Good question, because guess who else wears glasses? I do. And there's my foster head, as you can see. Um, but, um, uh, so now you can get um, the first they had custom made to fit in their glasses. Lemon breath head, I believe, fit glasses because this is a lemon breath head. I believe all of them will fit to wearing glasses. I wasn't too sure about that at first when I bought this head, but now I'm like, oh my god, I see. I can now wear glasses wearing a mask for once. And, uh, yeah, 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 uh, 
um, uh, you can also um, just always your contact. But I think they're really hard to put in and check out. So just, um, uh, yeah. Uh, oh my god, guys. Uh, uh, and also, as I told you, it's in the beginning of the year. I have a hard time speaking. I have to be shy. It's speech delay. So, um, hang in there. Please, just hang in there. Um, uh, all right. Uh, you can ask for it to, first you have to fit your glasses while you're in your wellness. Fit the glasses as in I meant to fit while your are glasses, lemon bread head, the glasses, and I think people can actually just custom make the headpiece to fit the glasses as well. I don't think that DVC faces fit them um, uh, because they have two. And to wear the glasses in it, you really have to struggle kind of um, with getting them in. Um, uh, but yeah. Um, a video, guys, and now that is a 48 video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then, um, well, uh, just do whatever you want. You can subscribe. You can. Tell me if you liked it. I'm not one of those people who are like, you know what? Subscribe now or the spider will call me into the map while they're sleeping. I'm not one of those. I'm just here. I'm also a human being as well. So that, uh, I hope you enjoyed my video. And I will see you in the next video. Oh, and also one more thing. Uh, if you have any more questions about how to be a furry or what you need to be a furry, just comment it down below. And also, in the comments and in the description, I will leave a link um, to my second channel, which is a gaming channel, so hopefully you guys will like it. I don't know. Um, um, bye bye guys. Bye and have a good day. Stay safe out there. I love you all. Bye bye.